Hi, welcome everyone. My name is Dr. Gina Heathcote. Uh, I'm going to talk on the MA in Gender and Sexuality in this webinar. So welcome. Thanks for joining us. Uh, so I am a staff member at the Centre for Gender Studies where we run four different programs, MA in Gender Studies, MA in Gender Studies and the Study of the Middle East, MA in Gender and Sexuality and the MA in Gender Studies and Law. If you want to know more about any of the programs, or particularly the MA in Gender and Sexuality, which is what I'm talking about today, uh, you can drop me an email, or if you want to ask me a question as we go, feel free to uh, type a question into the box. I'm only going to talk about Gender Studies and Sexuality uh, today, although I'll give you a wider sense of the centre and how it works at the same time. Um, so the Centre for Gender Studies has four permanent staff members, uh, Professor Nadia Al-Ali, who's our centre chair, uh, myself, I am the program convener for the MA in Gender Studies and Law, or the have been program convener for all the different programs, so familiar with them, and in fact, uh, it was me that proposed and set up both the Gender Studies and Law and the Gender and Sexuality programs, so I'm very familiar with them. Uh, Dr. Awino Akech is the program convener for the MA in Gender Studies, and she's also the convener of the core course that you'll take while you're here in Gender Theory, which I'm going to talk to in a moment. Dr. Ali Oshutuja will be your program convener on the MA in Gender and Sexuality, and they are also the convener of the Feminist and Queer Diaspora course, which is one of the core courses that uh, you take on the Gender and Sexuality program. Right, so um, in addition to the four of us, we're um, really enhanced by the number of colleagues that work at SOAS working on issues of gender and sexuality. In fact, uh, across the departments of SOAS, we're really proud to say that we have colleagues working in every department. So across the 10, 11 units at SOAS, uh, we have colleagues who are centre members and they support both the teaching and dissertation supervision as well as events that we run here at the centre. So you're likely uh, to encounter them. Many of them are working particularly on the study of sexuality in the SOAS regions and they provide fantastic support particularly for this uh, program on the MA in Gender and Sexuality. Okay, our administrative support is provided by our department officer, Vianne Healy, uh, a former student of ours uh, who can be contacted at genderstudies at sis.ace.uk. Um, she can help you with anything from course enrolments to uh, getting access to different kinds of support across the SOAS. The, the whole of SOAS really. Um, so uh, do get in touch with herself or myself if you have any questions at the end of this. Okay, so what's the Centre for Gender Studies? Well, we are an interdisciplinary centre, studies gender in an inter intersectional way. Um, and uh, sort of more practically, we have both a taught postgraduate program and a research program. So the research postgraduate program is our doctoral program. Uh, you will be taking your core course, Gender Theory, alongside our first year uh, research students or doctoral students uh, once you arrive at SOAS. And uh, we provide, we promote an active research community mostly through our events, but also through our teaching. You'll have the opportunity to work with colleagues and encounter the research of colleagues across different parts of SOAS. And how within that do we approach gender? We think we're unique in the way that we come at gender and think about gender, uh, and I would say in your degree also sexuality. First and foremost, we're interdisciplinary. Now, I said before that uh, as an interdisciplinary centre, uh, we, we have colleagues working across the different disciplines at SOAS. But in fact, I think it's more than that. I think we think about what it means to undertake gender as an interdisciplinary study um, when, uh, when we encounter the knowledge that you that is put together through the different parts of, of the degree. At the same time, we think about gender as intersectional. So this means that rather than encountering gender as a description of certain bodies, you look at how gender forms a power relation that works in intersection with other power relations, be they race, class, sexuality, religion, and so on. So we encourage students to think through 
gender as a power relation and as an analytical tool to understand the perpetuation of certain kinds of discrimination, not just gender discrimination. On the gender studies and sexuality degree, obviously you will put sexuality at the center of that and think through the relationship between gender and sexuality, but also in intersection with race, class, able-bodiedness, uh, for example. So as as an institution has a huge project about around decolonizing the curriculum and the Center for Gender Studies uh, is very much committed to that. And this is about thinking about how we encounter and make assumptions about what knowledge we value, uh, how we challenge that, how we not only incorporate different kinds of voices, but that we are attentive to, to what we privilege and, and our own privilege in sometimes blinkering the way that we encounter knowledge. Um, at the same time, we're very proud of the different queer, trans uh, perspectives that we've incorporated as a solid part, both of your core modules, general core modules such as gender theory, but also as the discrete studies in sexuality that are part of your degree uh, if you're on this program. It should go without saying that we approach gender and sexuality through the lens of non-Western approaches in that we regard particularly the study uh, feminist histories, uh, but also history of sexuality in the SOAS regions, not as something to be discovered or to add it on, added on to existing Western uh, approaches, but as foundational knowledge projects in and of themselves. I think this enriches the degree uh, in a really powerful way uh, and asks you to really think about the way that you think about things, uh, not only through gender, but in terms of positionality, for example. Okay, so as I said, we are program structures across the MA in Gender Studies, uh, the MA uh, in Gender Studies Pathway on the Middle East, and the MA in Gender and Sexuality and the MA in Gender and Law, slightly different. So I'm going to go through and focus uh, particularly on the MA in Gender, gender and Sexuality, uh, which uh, is the focus of this webinar. Like all programs, postgraduate taught programs at SOAS, you are required to take 180 credits uh, across your degree, whether you're part-time or full-time. 60 of those credits will be earned through the completion of your dissertation, which I'm going to talk about uh, separately in a moment. And 120 credits will be uh, from your taught credits, so the courses that you take on campus. And this incorporates both core and optional modules. For the students on the MA in Gender and Sexuality, uh, you are required to take uh, the following core courses. So first of all, the course that all our students take, whether you're a first year research student or on any of our different uh, gender studies programs, all our students take the gender theory and the study of Asia, Africa and the Middle East. Uh, as I mentioned before, this course is run by Dr. Owino Oketch. It runs for the full uh, year, so across two terms of teaching. Uh, and in addition to lectures, you will have tutorials um, where you get the opportunity to work in small groups and really kind of take uh, a slow kind of considered approach to the different knowledge that you're encountering and thinking about, you know, academic skills in terms of writing from an interdisciplinary, intersectional gender perspective. Um, as a student on the gender and sexuality course, you're required to take uh, two modules, which would normally be optional modules, queer and feminist uh, diaspora studies, and I think actually the title of that course is Feminist and Queer Diaspora Studies, and the module Queer Politics in Asia, Africa, and the Middle East. Um, these uh, look at different uh, sets of knowledge, thinking around sexuality and the application of sexuality in the SOAS regions and their diasporas, uh, both hugely popular modules uh, and hugely enriching modules as well. In addition to that, all of our students take a dissertation in dissertation methods in gender studies. So if you're part time, this will be in the last year of your degree. If you're full time, this will be in term one. Uh, this is a course run by Owino Oketch, and it gives you the opportunity to think through the practical requirements of your dissertation and to advance the intellectual uh, approach to your dissertation. You'll be given the opportunity to give a presentation. Uh, and to also kind of ask any questions you have about dissertation. At the end of the course, which runs for term one only, uh, in the middle of term two, you will be required to have put together a proposal, a dissertation proposal that will be assessed by colleagues and given feedback and guidance from colleagues. 
Uh, your re remaining optional modules should come from what we call list one. So if you look on the gender studies uh, website pages, the Centre for Gender Studies website pages, we have two different lists, lists of modules and your module should really come from uh, 45 credits. So that's the equivalent of one full module so or and one half module, but it could of course be three half modules. Uh, and there should be courses that have gender and sexuality as part of their focus. Um, uh, and if you've got any questions about particular modules, please do get in touch. Or if there's something that you think you'd like to study, but it's not on that list, we can talk to the program convener uh, about maybe uh, thinking about how that might be accommodated. On top of all that, you uh, work on a dissertation across the year and then certainly over the summer as well. Um, so I'm just going to move to the slide that focuses on dissertations. Uh, dissertation projects are 10,000 words for Centre for Gender Studies students. After you finish the dissertation uh, proposal or dissertation methods unit and your proposal by the way of assessment for that, you will be allocated a supervisor, either one of the members of CGS staff who I listed before, or because of the nature of your dissertation, we will choose you, uh, find you a specialist in your research area from the broader um, Centre for Gender Studies members list. Uh, it is required uh, for this degree that uh, not only should your studies, your dissertation relate to your studies at SOAS in the sense of engaging the SOAS regions and their diaspora communities, but that it should be on sexuality for you to qualify for the degree. And obviously, I, I hope that that's self-evident. But if you have questions about that, again, you can talk to your program convener, drop me an email. Uh, we've got plenty of time to design that and think about how that works. After you've designed your topic and put it through for assessment on the dissertation in gender studies module, once you know who your supervisor is, uh, we encourage you to meet with your supervisor during term two and term three in term time. Uh, usually about three students, three, three meetings should be sufficient. Um, and this is allows you to really kind of focus on the design, get it of the project, get it right, and sense of most people kind of come up with something slightly too broad, so narrow the project appropriately um, think about the kind of use of interdisciplinary skills and how you reflect the work that you've done in your core modules perhaps or some of your optional modules as well uh, at the end of the taught uh, terms over the summer that's when most people write uh, the bulk of their dissertations and it will then be due uh, in september uh, of, the, of your academic well you know at the end of the academic year Great. So um, the last thing that I want to go through is to just really emphasize that coming to the Center for Gender Studies at SOAS is more than just coming to your taught courses. Uh, in particular, we expect our gender studies students to attend a fortnightly seminar series. Uh, this is an opportunity for you to hear cutting edge research across the different disciplines, across the different regions of SOAS. Uh, through the seminar series is a very popular public event, uh, but is also uh, something that we expect our master students to attend, uh, in fact. Uh, it's a great year for studying gender and sexuality. Uh, your program convener, Alyosha Tudor, uh, along with our colleague, Dr. Rahul Rao, who is a colleague in the politics department, but also a Centre for Gender Studies uh, member. We're running a conference titled Gender X that looks at understandings of gender identity and sexual identity in the SOAS regions. Fantastic decolonizing project uh, that's going ahead in March 2019. Uh, but if you can't wait till then, what I suggest you do is you get on the website and or on Facebook and look up Queer Asia. This is an annual conference run every year in June. It was set up by some of our students, former students. Former MA student from this program, actually, he studied the MA in Gender and Sexuality. Uh, despite having returned to India, which is his home, he still uh, puts together the Queer Asia conference every year with a colleague, uh, one of our research students here at SOAS. And it's huge, it's fantastic, it's fabulous. The first event will be 5 p.m. Tuesday, the 26th of June. So if you're in London and you're able to come along to Queer Asia, I absolutely recommend that you come and get involved and see some of the debates uh, that kind of you would be immersed in when you take on uh, this program and the, and the great kind of research events that stem from that. Great, so um, that's about all I've got to say. Thank you um, so much for your time. If you've got a question, feel free to type it in uh, and I'll do my best to answer it. If you think of a question later, drop me an email. 
and I'll come back to you. Thank you very much.